Okay, hey everyone. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on the border radius property, which goes off of the image tag. So I've created a notepad here, website.html, put it on my desktop. I also saved an image onto my desktop, named it vegas.png, uh, case sensitive, shows up as a square. Um, there's many different paint programs that you can use to change the entire thing if you want to and then upload it that way which you completely can do but if you wanted to do it right here in the html when you pull in an image in border dash radius and you name the thickness by pixels so 15 pixels and save simple as that so now let's play a little bit more that is the border radius of all four if you wanted you could do all four individually. Uh, sorry, 15 pixels. And then we'll go zero pixels and zero pixels. So now I'm naming all four. Top, right, bottom, left in a row. So bottom and left will be nothing, but then the top and the right. It always goes in that order. So top and right are both border radius 15 pixels. Bottom and then left. So that's pretty cool right there. You can change these things around. You can do it with just one if you want to. Just the top, which is the top left. Top left, top right, bottom, bottom. So you can do it however you would like depending on what else you're building so if you, um, this comes into play sometimes with let's add a style here um, percent I want it to be the entire width I want there to be some height I'm gonna make a background kind of like a header background color and I'm naming the how big it's going to be. So let's say uh, 400 pixels high. It's the width of the entire thing. And let's make the background dash color orange and then see how it looks. Save. Uh huh. Let's add some padding. Padding is exactly the same as what we were just doing with the border radius. You can name all four top left, top right, um, I'm sorry, top, right, bottom, and left of how much padding you want there to be. So I'll just start with the, you can also do padding dash top if you want to call them just top 15 pixels. Save, you'll see this image bounce off the top a little bit. And then you can do it to the left as well. So I can change this to left, you can do all of them, or you can just simply say 15 pixels indent across the board now it'll bump in this way and down right there and you can bump it in there as far as you want let's let's bump it in there 100 pixels both ways top and from the left so there we go uh, much bigger now let's do something else with the border let's name the uh, let's see border Two pixels solid red. And save, refresh. Ah, oh, so cool. I think it would, well, let's make it white. It would look cooler. These are the things that you would do if you were actually building a website. You can make it nice and big if you want to go 20 pixels. Let's just see what happens here. Boom. You can do all kinds of stuff. Now, Let's also bump this border radius up to like 50 pixels. Save. You can get much more round. Look at that. So sometimes on social media like Twitter, they have circled a big circle headshot. That is probably how they define every single every time somebody uploads a, a um, picture of themselves it automatically jumps into that circle mode you can put the border around the circle however you want so it's uh, pretty cool border radius 